Let's get more now from Katavan Gorgistani in Washington. Uh, Katavan, what exactly will be today's process? Well, today the focus is going to be on the constitutionality of holding uh, this trial. And so uh, the impeachment managers and uh, Donald Trump's defense team uh, will have uh, two hours each uh, to make their case about why it is constitutional or not to have uh, this trial of Donald Trump in uh, the Senate. Uh, and after that, there will be a vote by uh, the senators to determine uh, whether to go ahead with this trial. Now, the argument of uh, the Trump defense is that this is simply unconstitutional because Donald Trump is no longer a sitting president. He is a private citizen and therefore uh, the Senate does not have a jurisdiction over his case. Uh, the impeachment managers say no, it is constitutional for two reasons. One, one is that there is no January exception. That was not the intent of the founding fathers when they uh, prepared this uh, idea of impeachment, uh, basically saying that uh, if uh, Donald Trump uh, could not be tried because he was out of office. It will leave any president with uh, the opportunity to do anything they want in their final weeks in office and get away as scot-free. The other thing they're saying is that uh, Donald Trump was impeached while he was still in office, and the Constitution uh, specifically states uh, that the Senate can try any impeachment that comes uh, their way. And uh, the outcome of this vote on constitutionality is uh, not really in question because there was a similar vote that was held just a couple of weeks ago. And back then, all the Democrats uh, voted to say that it was constitutional, and five Republicans uh, joined them to uh, go ahead with this trial. And we're expecting uh, that those votes are going to be uh, quite similar, uh, maybe a few here and there. But uh, this trial is very likely to go ahead. So what are the chances that Donald Trump will actually be convicted? Slim to none. You would need a huge surprise in order to see Donald Trump convicted at the end of the Senate trial, simply because uh, the threshold is uh, just too high uh, coming from what we've seen uh, coming out of the Senate on the Republican side. You need 17 Republican senators to side with the 50 Democrats in order to uh, convict Donald Trump. And uh, you really are nowhere near seeing that many Republicans. Republicans uh, even hinting at the possibility that they could uh, convict uh, Donald Trump. Uh, the one thing that we're going to be looking at is how many Republicans decide to side uh, with, the Repo uh, with the Democrats. Last time around, last year in the first impeachment trial, you had just one Republican, Mitt Romney, who convicted uh, Donald Trump. Uh, this time we're expecting maybe a handful of uh, Republicans to uh, decide to vote to convict Donald Trump. Uh, one person to watch out for also is uh, the Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Uh, last time around, he uh, was totally behind Donald Trump, saying he would not be an impartial juror. Uh, this time around, he has left the door open, saying he hadn't decided whether to convict uh, Donald Trump. And that uh, really uh, leaves the door open for some Republicans, at least, to vote their conscience and maybe perhaps decide to convict Donald Trump. Katavan Gorgestani in Washington, thank you for that.